Welcome to another episode of What the Kids Be Saying. Hi, I'm your host, Esther Brunat, and What the Kids Be Saying is your source of behind the curve pop culture knowledge. It's behind the curve because we late. This week on What the Kids Be Saying, we will cover three terms. Term number one is what's the T? Term number two is sus. And term number three is no cap. Term number one is what's the tea? So tea is basically when you're privy to some kind of juicy info that you should not be privy to. It's gossip. So sometimes the kids come in after some drama went down and they'd be like, ooh, Miss Brunat, we got some tea for you. And I'm like, all right, give it to me. <laughs> Term number two is sus. Now I would try to explain the word sus to you, but Urban Dictionary did a perfect job at this. And their definition is, the word sus means the word suspicious, but more lit. <laughs> Our third term is no cap, which is a phrase that the kids use to say that they're not lying about something. I'm gonna tell you a story so that we wrap all three words up in a nice little bow. One time, two of my students were having this argument about whether or not they used to talk, AKA whether or not they used to like each other. So the rest of us are listening to this conversation and I'm like, ooh, get some biscuits cause it is tea time. The girl was basically denying that she was into the guy and the guy was like, I have receipts. And I was like, ooh, that's kind of sus. And the whole time the argument was kind of annoying because they were like, you're capping. No, that's a cap. I'm not capping, you capping. And I was like, could somebody please tell the truth? So then the girl was like, well, I have receipts too that you are also into me. And then he was like, well, how do you have receipts if it never happened? Ooh, that's a cap. That does it for this week's episode of What the Kids Be Saying. As usual, this episode has been brought to you by Esther Brunat. No cap. Stay hip, friends.